Adidas sunk $160 million into sponsoring last year's Summer of Sport, the London Olympics and the European Football Championships, where it also sponsored the winners, Spain. Its reward was a 15% hike in sales. But towards the end of the year, revenues slackened, thanks largely to problems in the American sporting arena. That's according to Sandra Halliday of WGSN, which supplies trend forecasts to Adidas and its competitors. Reebok, which is a subsidiary of Adidas, um, lost the National Football League contract, which was worth around 200 million a year to it. Now, obviously, that's a big impact in the US market. It also um, had problems with its National Hockey League deal because of a lockout of um, National Hockey League players. So those games haven't been happening. So that's a big marketing and sales opportunity it's missed. Adidas has also been held back by trouble in China. Here, sportswear firms have been flooding the market with goods, collapsing prices. The biggest issue happened in China was that local brands as such saw the same opportunity as Nike and Adidas and thought they could bring, build almost as big a business as these companies. They overestimated demand and as a result flooded the market, particularly on the sporting apparel side with lots of goods. Those are now being discounted and both Nike and Adidas are being caught up in that too. Adidas has started to tighten up on the shops through which it sells its products. It's told every independent sports retailer in the UK that it could cut supplies to them unless they buy $40,000 worth of its products next year. Nowadays, Adidas is opening up more and more own brand stores across the world, so it can sell its products at full price, and these are proving much more profitable than selling wholesale to other shops. Adidas hopes they continue to be so, despite the downturn in consumer spending in continents like Europe. Jeremy Howell, BBC News.